Okay, and we are live. Uh, going to be getting right into this first game here. Uh, we have some immediately Encore Esports privilege at work because oh. it is going to be Drilago, uh, the king of Encore himself, <laughs> Emperor Extraordinaire. Uh, let's, I can't wait to watch him get bodied. Let's go. I love watching him get bodied. It's, it's my favorite pastime. Yeah, I, it is worth saying, though, that he's gotten a lot better over the past few years and the last few months especially to the point where it, it used to just be a foregone conclusion that he was just going to uh, just get, like, a funny kind of slaughter. If, if, uh, you, if you saw a Govinda matchup for yourself as your round one or whatever round it was, you could rest easy because then you realized at that point it's a free buy, essentially. Yeah, but no longer. Although right now he's kind of struggling against Birch here. Uh, you familiar with Birch? I've actually never seen no, him No, never in my life. I wish I, I wish I could see yes. Yeah, well, regardless, he seems to be doing pretty well for himself. But this is one of those awkward points for We Fit Trainer. The Falco has a lot of really sc scary combos even now. Birch, Swigzy's older brother. <laughs> That's <laughs> incredible to hear. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was such a brave, <laughs> like, side B. Govenda will get, see, I, I've played Falco for a little bit for the past weeks, going on a month almost now. Um, no matter what, wh whether you think they will do it or not, Falco players will illusion at these stupidest, most random times. You could, you have to play the character to understand the mindset of it. The thing is, if it's so stupid, then it's completely unpredictable and it's unpunishable. But then you realize that the move has like the stupidest amount of end lag. What are you and talking shield about? Lag. Did you see that? He did side me on his shield and got an up tilt. What are he you should have been about? punished. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's unpunishable, dude. Well, unpunishable by what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> breathe it's, it in, bro. No, breathe it's, it in. It's like plus <gasps> 20, and you get a free up tilt out of it, clearly. Man is literally rolling nat 20s every time he inputs side B. <laughs> nice All up right. smash for neutral tech at a little bit of a, a, a little, I say a little bit, oh. quite softly there. Quite a big percent deficit yeah. here for uh, Drilago. And not only that, that's a deep breathing Wii Fit, so he is absolutely a chance of dying, but the fact he got that combo was really big because he managed to get rid of the deep breathing. He's not really at, well now he can die again, especially from F tilt at ledge. Oops. To everything. Uh, there's actually, Wii Fit Trainer is kind of, sometimes it's awkward for her to find kills. Uh, but right now F tilt at ledge is probably the number one thing. Look how big, far that F tilt yeah, is. That's cross stage. And now the deep breathing is back online for Birch, and I believe a nice up tilt there. To that go was to F tilt. Up. No, that F was F tilt. Yep, F tilt. That was the backwards hitbox yep. of it then. It My hits goodness. behind her. Oh, sauce. No sauce. Okay, well, honestly, this is... Oh. What I, is he trying to look for? I think that might have been a missing input, honestly. I know that a lot of weak good trainers, when they get a nice job taking the stock right there, what was a really a one-sided game is now neck and neck. Oh, this late cancel soccer ball, dude. Oh my god. I'm so. I, I want to sit here and say this character has no sauce, but in the amount of time that I have seen Wii Fit be played and just the stupidest stuff happen that leads to an absolutely disgusting 3 0 yeah. victory for them, no, it's, I, I, can't, I can't deny the sauce that they have. Honestly, also, Wii Fit Trainer, one of the few characters in this game that has a win condition, and that win condition is pressing down me. Oh, for real. But, like, listen, characters with win conditions, I. Me, maybe this is just me. Oh my oh god! god! Yo, speaking of win conditions, Okay, I really want to deconstruct that there <laughs> because of the fact that you saw that down air. It was from behind. Mm -hmm. Wee Fit has a massive hitbox when she's doing that side B, especially once it connects on that soccer ball. So Govinda, being aware of that, made sort of cross up and that down air just so perfectly placed, coming from way out behind and actually taking that game. Crisp and clean something uh, here from the new and improved Drilago. Oh yeah, no, um, he's like... Man, man went through a patch. 1.0 would never have hit that. Man would have sour spotted like three times in a row. This man would have gotten one... <laughs> 1.0. He would have gotten hit by the side B and died. Like that. He would have illusioned point. off stage <laughs> in the alpha build. One, All right, but we're actually having game two. It's going to this time be on a uh, Hollow Bastion. I kind of like this because, especially at earlier percents, we fit loves grabbing opponents underneath a platform. So that might be the uh, the thought process here. But, oh my god, or the platform just can do nasty things on its own. You said grab underneath the platform, and my brain rerouted that too. He's going to grab them while they're at the ledge, and I thought, how the hell is that possible? <laughs> oh, I mean, listen, I've seen goofy things happen in this game, especially with Wii Fit Trainer. Like, this is one of the things about Wii Fit. She kind of, normally, you're on ledge. Oh no, bad. Not for Wii Fit. 
Yeah, no, we fit trainers really, uh, the character really seems to thrive around the ledge area, and I think that's partly due to soccer ball and its nature as a move. I think it's really oppressive, and it's one of the best tools in a move kit outside of deep breathing. It's the build. soccer ball as well as her extremely low ledge hang. A lot of characters, there's not a huge window for punishing her, and if you're not extremely tight, you might end up off stage yourself. Oh, what the spacing on that! That was like Kuvinda out incredible. that forward air, trying to oh stuff God. in some kind of approach, and oh my foot. Yeah, he's looking for F-Tilt right now. But really great awareness from Birch. He's patient while he's in the corner. I think that's just... Oh! Oh, he missed, he missed his up air off that one. I don't think he was expecting it to land. He saw him dashing away and that, thought that's, that was That's the hard. duality of the Falco player. <laughs> you go for illusion whenever you feel like it, but then you never expect it to hit because of how garbage the move is. Yeah, I... He's gone. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right. I, I was actually originally questioning that shield grab right there after the parry. I feel like he could have gone for F-Tilt and guaranteed the stock. But nonetheless, that throw ended up leading to a stock regardless. So right now, Birch looking pretty good, but we saw him look even better in game one. We know how that ended. Yeah, no. At the start of this game, Govenda really showed... Uh, <laughs> oh my platform god. Platform combos, I'm telling you, Weefit loves them. My thought's gone. Uh, oh my god, good mash on Govenda's part there. But as I was saying, at the start of game two, he seemed to have shown a very nice set of adaption as he kept the percent lead quite even. But right now, Birch is just running away with this game two on Hollow Bastion. Yeah, and I think that one part of why he's doing much better right now is, I know that I've talked to, oh, no text. The, yeah, honestly, ledge guards are really on point from Jalago. Uh, but I've talked to like, fit trainers like John Numbers, and he says one of the things that he really focuses on, on with the character is punishing opponents that jump into the air. And we were seeing a lot of that, a lot of sun salutations in particular. Govinda was just jumping into the air and getting hit by them, and Soccer right ball now, setups not amounting to much. That's gonna be Oh it. my goodness. Great timing right there. When he that's rides along the edge, it can sometimes be difficult to actually get the spike, but just perfectly placed down there. It's the same as what happened to him in game one. He's like, I'm gonna come at you a little bit from behind and stop the face. See earlier too, he had gone for he he had gone for reverse fair in order to get the spike hitbox there on the back foot heel. But unfortunately that missed. Uh, Great comeback from Burst, though, however, in game two. And Govenda's looking yeah. pretty tense right now. The thing is, I feel like in that game versus game one, Govinda lost that first stock in game one and then kept his composure, realized what he needed to do in order to not have the game just completely run away from him. And in that game two, Birch set himself up, and then his combos were just so much more consistent, and he would hit him once and do 90%, and all of a sudden, that's not just 90% extra credit, that's like an entire stock that's done. One thing I'd actually like to see a little bit more from Birch is crouching onto lasers. Not necessarily because it's optimal, because it's funny. <laughs> Govenda seems to be taking this game start a lot more patiently, a little more defensive even too. He's, I love the fact that you mentioned, oh, he's taking a lot more patiently, and what is Birch's answer immediately with a grab? He's recognizing that Govinda's trying to be a little bit more slow-paced, and he's punishing those defensive options, but being trapped at the corner, he's actually finding it pretty difficult to get out. See, he's doing a really good job right now of simply just denying him space and challenging every single option that he has, but finally escaping the ledge realm. Uh, with a nice roll onto stage, and we reset back to under the platforms. Missing the timing on that deep breathing, however, that might cost him an unfortunate yeah. amount of percent. Oh, that up air just barely coming out before the fat down air from Falco. Birch is there. He's scrapping in a way that we hadn't really seen in the previous game. I really like how um, Drulago is using lasers just when. Oh my goodness. Did he miss it again? The deep breathing timing, that's two times in a row where he hasn't gotten it, and like, deep breathing right here would have been amazing. Finally, deep breathing on deck, but an up smash, oh, barely gonna the, kill out. The deep breathing saved him. He is so lucky that he got that, but it's not gonna save him from down tilt down sword. Tilt. Down tilt sword. Yeah, no, it's too chunky, dude. It is, it is an up smash in down tilt form. Now, this is where we start to see Drilago enter a little bit of the extra credit zone right now. 75% in a stock lead. However, yeah. deep breathing could close, could slowly close it down. He took, did he take 30 from that? Uh, because also it hit the soccer ball. I think. Uh, he got hit by the laser as well. Um, but anyway, the down tilt is going to be killing. That is a move that I think they buffed it at some point for Wii Fit, and it now is at the ledge. It kills. Right now, Drilago is just using 
all of the tools in his kit in order to in order to not only just space out Birch, but also just deny him space in general as well, because we've seen him on both ends of the spectrum rush in and play uh, very aggressive while he was off stage and at the ledge, right, like now. I love that drift that Drilago did his shield pressure right now. It's really nice. There's the side B out of the corner. Anticipated. Oh my God. You cannot miss your tech on that platform. You will take so much damage. Deep breathing was in effect. He would have taken 90 problems. Missing his reflect just a little bit. First hit up air, back air. Ooh. Yeah, that's man. So hits. Deep breathing combos. She is she's one of the few characters in this game with a win condition. Honestly. Falco used to have a win condition uh win condition, but that was patched out post melee. Yeah. Re really saw the game, they're just like, we can't let this character live anymore. Fox? Nah, he can have up smash. Whoa! The Late lasting hit. frames! I mean that means it didn't kill, but that's still a lot of damage that's already being dished out. Back out of shield. And right now, Jalago is at... Beautiful angle. He's almost about to get lapped in percent here. With a stock disadvantage, too, mind that. And a dash Good attack, not going to kill it yet. Almost catching Illusion with that soccer ball. Forward throw again for another rinse and repeat in the cycle. He's too scared. He got back onto stage and shielded the option. Which will get up. However, Birch was expecting a roll. Parry with a fair punish. Okay. Things are... This is grim for Drilago, especially now that deep breathing is there. But the thing is, Falco has a... Whoa! <laughs> it did what? Don't forget to exhale. I think soccer ball got... Ricocheted like three times I, there. I think there was I, initial hit, dare, 